And essentially, you're labeling people anti-Semitic, so they just can't say anything about you. That's like me criticizing the fries at McDonald's, and you calling me anti-McDonald's. Wallahi, we will call you out, and we will catch you. Way of life as cute. Even in hundred. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about Ilhan Omar and Rashida Talib being denied entry into Israel. Really? Of course, before we proceed with this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up and I need you to subscribe to this channel as well. And I can't move forward without thanking all you OG subscribers out there for those who have been with me from the go. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Yeah. So all those who are new to this channel, Welcome to the channel. Oh no, he got too close now. And of course, if you aren't already doing so, please make sure that you're following me on my Instagram as well. Go to my Instagram account. I post daily exclusive Islamic reminders on Instagram, so please, I don't want you to miss out. I would love to connect with you on Instagram as well. Yeah. So here's what happened. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and Congresswoman Rashida Talib wanted to go to Israel to visit Palestine and take a tour of the West Bank. Don't mess around. Don't play a games. They're wrong because they acknowledge Israel as a country in the first place. Now say what you want about their politics, whether you like them or don't, or you agree with it or you don't. Yeah. The fact that there's two openly Muslim congresswomen in the United States who are openly advocating for Palestinians and speaking against the apartheid discrimination that Israel has to offer is a big deal. Don't try it, boy. They're putting their reputations on the line daily and that's just something that should be celebrated. A lot of people let us down. Not many people do this because they're afraid of backlashes and being called anti-Semitic, which they already have been called anyways. <laughs> But a lot of people don't want to put their reputations on the line because of all the negative press that comes with that. God knows if he was planning to come out with this uh, thing all of a sudden. Now you might ask, what's wrong with the congresswoman wanting to visit the West Bank? No, that's a very good question. Well, the president of Israel, Benjamin Netan, yeah. had something to say about this. He denied their entry into Israel and then proceeding for their tour in the West Bank. What the hell is this? Billah. And stated that Israel's open to criticism because it's a democracy. You can say, oh, just wait. Bro, really? What what criticism are you open to exactly? If a person even tries to criticize Israel, they're deemed as anti-Semitic instantaneously. Wallahi, I urge don't message me. That's not democracy. The real joke is that you even consider Israel to be a democracy. <laughs> the way you treat Palestinians and Muslims overall is laughable. The amount of discrimination that you do against Muslims is inhumane. Oh, why is it like that? What? No. So Mr. Natan yeah. is stating that the reason that they're not allowed into Israel is two congresswomen's encouragement to boycott Israel and the products that they sell. You cannot escape anymore. You're finished. Allah. Now you might be thinking, when did they do that? No, that's a very good question. Well, both congresswomen are actually active representatives of the BDS, which basically encourages people to boycott Israeli products to essentially hurt their pockets. You you, you have given me anxiety. You have given me anxiety. Anxiety. And just to be clear, voting with our dollar, voting with our money is extremely democratic. You're out of a job, boy. Doing what we want to do with our money and being conscious of how we spend our money is not only democratic, it's kind of capitalist as well. And that's it. And after Mr. Nathan Yahoo! said all this, Mr. Stirrer himself comes through in tweets. He did the right thing. And that how Ilhan and these congresswomen are actually anti-Jewish. Everyone will unfollow you now. They don't like Jewish people. Switch off your social media. I don't want to see your face. Now, I can't speak on these congresswomen's behalf, but I can tell you this much. Islam does not support hatred toward anyone or any religion whatsoever. Islam does not support the hatred of Jews. Yeah. Actually, Jewish people were originally Muslim who went to Stray and started calling themselves Jews. That's what we believe as Muslims. The message that every single messenger came was the message of Islam. And when people deviated from Islam, do you know what? You that's when they started creating sex, started labeling themselves other things besides Muslims. But isn't that what we're doing right now? I just don't understand the democracy of Israel. Anyone who criticizes Israel is labeled as anti Semitic. But there's Jewish people who are also against Israel. Are you going to see a Jewish person is also anti Semitic? No, that's a very good question. And essentially, you're labeling people anti Semitic. So they just can't say anything about you. And that's wrong because this doesn't work with anything else besides you guys. America does this too. If you critique America or the presidency or whatever, you're sometimes labeled as anti-American. How? That's like me criticizing Starbucks' coffee and calling me anti-Starbucks. That's like me criticizing the fries at McDonald's and you calling me anti-McDonald's. That's like me criticizing Jaguars for breaking down so easily and calling me anti-Jaguar. That's like me criticizing the Nike and Air Jordan child labor sweatshops in China calling me anti Anti-Nike and your- oh, wait, wait. They, they actually do do that though. We have seen the evidence. Criticism is designed to help you progress and advance, not to hold you back. Only those who have a fixed mindset think it's a criticism against them and take it personally. 
Oh, okay, okay. You know the crazy part? Unfortunately, Muslims are starting to do and behave the same way. Say what? You heard it right. Try critiquing Saudi Arabia, bro. They will behave exactly the same way America would behave or Israel would behave if their countries get criticized too. We've been struck with the same exact bug and the same infection overall. And if a layman passing my comments against Islam, label them Islamophobic, which is also incorrect. Do you know what the hell you are uttering? When someone critiques Islam, we shouldn't become defensive and just label them as Islam. Islamophobes. Instead, we should be more intelligent. When the disbelievers at the time of the Messenger saw some and the Quran was being revealed, they tried to mock the Day of Judgment. Allah didn't become defensive. Allah answered their own questions in a very intelligent way. So don't become defensive whenever someone critiques you and think that you have to defend yourself all the time. That's signs of weakness and we're not weak. Wallah, he will call you out and we will catch you. Critiquing a country or critiquing a religion doesn't make you anti any of those things. This is designed to push people's thinking to not settle for the status quo of whatever the media feeds us. <laughs> Well, that was the video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Make sure that you drop some feedback in the comment section below. Tell me what your thoughts, your biggest takeaways from this. What were your thoughts overall? Other thing whatsoever. Tell me in the comment section below. If you benefited and enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. And until next time, I'm out. I'm feeling good waking up today. Got to say thanks to Allah for giving me another day.